Dallas Dia here, and welcome to a, a sudden reaction video that I'm gonna watch because I did watch the Mopey situation. I watched the 2K drama because I am a part of the 2K community somewhat, but I haven't been playing it for a long while. But I'm gonna give you a huge disclaimer Cash Nasty, I am a huge fan of Cash Nasty. I watched his videos before during and after this video I'm still going to be watching his videos because I'm a fan of him he was the second 2k youtuber I ever watched besides Chris Move and just like I said I watched the Mopey situation I what I looked at all the tweets and everything I looked watched I seen everything but this in particular I've seen this but I want to tear this video apart. I really, really want to tear this apart. Because it's so much things I want to say. Because Cash, it was very nonchalant and very indecisive in a way. But at the same time, it's just a lot of things that was inaccurate. Even though he sees stuff in his eyes, we all can see the BS throughout, throughout the whole thing. He did say some truths. He said a few truths, but at the same time, there's certain stuff that he can't defend them on because people see through the BS. But with that being said, let's continue the video. Well, let's get started. My bad. Well, let's get started with the video. Yo, what's good, buddy? here man uh come in and give you guys uh my perspective and everything what you guys can expand me and everything you know throughout this whole two-way situation cash perk up um, perk the fuck up yo there hey, we man, go let's go get the engine here man what's good everybody man that's what i like about cash man he brings that energy in every video that's something i commend him every time i watch his videos he brings that energy Oh yeah, and I'm also going to do a new intro, possibly tomorrow, Tuesday, whenever I make my next video. But before then, I have a video that's coming out real soon, but I'll tell you, tell you about it at the end of the video. Let's continue on with the video, with this one. So my IG, at Cash Nasty, man. Um, this is serious, man. You guys know, man, everything that's going on social media, I see everybody reposting the video. Oh yeah, Cash, going to try to pay. He did this video. I'm going to say it like this, Cash did this video. Cause he used to know the drama coming out of it, and there was this opportunity to pay some bills. And if you look at the views, <laughs> oh, he about to pay some bills. He's paying some bills. So uh, you know what? I want to pay some bills too. Oh, and just taking clips, you know, like and just clickbait, man. Like, like y'all, y'all, y'all going crazy. But when I, but yeah, at the same time, you somewhat doing the same thing. You're clickbaiting a bit. But we're going to watch the whole thing. We're here to talk about that, man. We're here to talk about this whole 2 x situation, you know, with Mopey. Um, now. Yep, but at the same time, it has a little to do, it has something to do with Mopey, but the, it has a lot to do with everyone else around the 2 Hype House. So, yeah. I'm going to give you guys my perspective. You know, you guys got to remember, I, I did not live in the 2 Hype House. All right? Uh, the most yeah. I would ever be there, probably like... I, probably two consecutive nights, you know what I mean, back to back, and that's me, I'm never really in there, you know what I mean, I'm chatting with them, going to their rooms, and then I'm going to go live, you know what I mean, so I never lived there, you know, um, so you guys gotta look at that perspective, man, you know. Okay, with that part right there, I would say, yeah, he don't live there, so in all cases, that means that he doesn't fully know what's going on inside the house, he's there, he makes videos, he chill there for a while, he leaves. But after he leaves, he don't know what's going on fully behind the scenes. He just, once he's there, he's there and he's chilling with the homies and everything. Everything's good. But let's continue. I mean, I just, I had roommates before. You know what I mean? And I know, like, it could be little things like the last person who left their dish inside the dishwasher, you know, and the other roommate would get mad. You know, these are things I had been through. Like, like simple things like, Last person leave their clothes in the washing machine or dryer, you know, and look at that, that, that add up, man. If you, if you went through roommates, man, you know what I'm talking about, man. 
Oh yeah, this one I can understand because I had room. I lived with a friend before. I was his roommate. I got my own place right now. I had a roommate before. I had a couple people stay with me for a bit till I get back on their feet. So I know what he means by this. I know what he means. So that's why when I was offered, you know, from everybody to like for me to stay in the uh, North Belinda house and the uh, the new house, I always like say I I ready to get my own spot, you know. I mean, let's be real, man. I like to walk around butt naked, my balls out. Just being true with y'all. Now, that one I could say, I do that. I can access. I can do that too, but I don't talk about it. But at the same time, true, I do the same shit every morning. But I ain't gonna talk about that that much. Uh, also, let's continue the video. You guys come in for drama? Go ahead, leave, man. I, I already know. We're not talking about drama, but we're gonna break this shit apart, though. We get to break it apart. I, 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 I've been through too much YouTube drama and beef coming up. You guys, facts. Look at my my history. I was there when the beef started too, so I know what he mean. You know. I'm just experienced now, man. You know, it's not worth it, bro. All the people that I have ever argued with, whatever it is, like, it's squashed. You know? Yeah. I mean, OSN, me and him cool. Yeah, with OSN, I remember that for a good few years ago. And it was all about the, um, the NFL scam that OSN was in, then Cash trying to clear his name because that was in a sponsored type collaboration with a certain company. Would consist of all the top 2K YouTubers, and everything was just colliding. And that's when, and that's at the same time, that same year that everyone noticed Cash as the king of my team. At that moment, everyone knows Cash is the king of my team. Even Chris Smooth, he knows that Cash was, was in that realm. Um, Chris Smooth, he did, he did all he did a whole lot of things. He was all around. Now he's going down to um my career, which is decent. But I always like Chris Move for his um commentary, his his um NBA gameplay commentary. I always watch those. Those are straight good. Those are good. But that's besides the point. But Cash, yeah, I remember him and OSN got into it. It was to the point that when OSN tried to say some stuff, he deleted his comments. I don't know if he still had that video up, but that's neither, neither here or there. But let's continue the video. You know, so Illuminati, like, I, I get it. So, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, life is way too short to just hold people, you know, just hold these grudges with you. Actually, speaking of Kim and So, hey, we are going to get that 1v1. That's what I want to see. Cash Nasty versus So Illuminati. That sounds like a good match. Hey, right, I'll watch it. People, man. Hey, like, I'll pay a bit. Hey, I will try to pay cash bills to watch that. And, you know, especially these people online, you know. So, that's just coming experience. But, this right here is in real life. Uh, I didn't think or have any type of idea that it would actually come to where it's at right now. You know what I mean? This one, I can actually give him the benefit of the doubt on this one. And plus, the ad's going to come up. But that's besides the point. I'll get to that whenever we get around that. But yeah, I give him the benefit of the doubt. They he know he was you know it wasn't gonna escalate to that point. But at the same time, you should have seen the signs. Cash should have seen the signs. What they are doing, what they're up to, what they're trying to do, and what they're doing at that moment. It's like they they feeding the drama more and more and people are going to start noticing it. Now it's to the point that it's not gonna be a drama alert, and like, what, what could you do on that? Like me making it, I really like to make these type of videos, man. If you're a tech lover, you well, should check yeah. out Capital One Shopping, especially if you're always at Best Buy looking for the new X. You know. But yeah, but you know that that was an opportunity to pay your bills. Cause look at the views. You know it's gonna pay them bills. Come on, cash. You even, you was even on Twitter saying, hey, you about to make some money off of this. And you did. So I, I'm not saying you capping, but sure, you know what's good for your wallet. I'm just saying. But we here, man, you know, um, I rather kept it offline. And, you know, I've been trying to, like, bring people together, you know, some type of ways. You know, you know I, I mean, I... 
I talk to Lowe's, you know. I, matter of fact, these are people I'm, I'm cool with, you Actually, he's spitting facts on this. All right? I don't, I'm not people with PD, Mopey, Mal, or Lowe's, man. Like, these are, these are my dudes. I'm going to address a lot of questions. Guess that. You know, what you guys have been asking. I'm going to try my best. But uh, let's go ahead and get to it, guys. What, what All right. Do? This is where we tear the, tear the whole video apart right here. Trio? Well, I'm going to be Trio. You know what I mean? All right. So, let's talk about um, my boy Mo. You know what I mean? Me and his relationship, man. Uh, relation. <laughs> Please don't put that in another comment. I know how y'all are, man. You know they're going to put it. It's going to be that one weird guy. They're going to put a part two of Cash's Mosa's compilation. Well, next edition of Cash Mosa's compilation. It's going to be that one dude. And Cash gonna have to have to react to it because people gonna request it. They're gonna spam his IG at Cash Nasty. Um, both of my dude, bro. You know what I mean? Um, I can call him right now. He'll pick up. You know, mm -hmm. when, whenever this thing he was transpiring, for what it is, you know, like you know, me and Mocha, we would talk. I feel like you know he would talk to me first, and I didn't know this was transpired this way, right? But um. We built this off of friendship at the beginning. And I'm not saying that it's not still friendship. I yeah, in a case, it might, may not. But you got to think of it behind the scenes. You're not there. So you don't know what's going on. And the point of that is, Mopey, Mopey even said he's been going through stuff. And like, who's there to actually check on him? It's like they have to be some person that actually just has to take the initiative to actually make sure everyone's straight. Like actually go there and check on them, like really check on them, this and that. But just like I said, Cash, he's not, he doesn't live there, so he doesn't fully know. So it's it's pretty a vague comment. I I'm not beefing with nobody too much, you know what I mean? Uh, there is they not holding uh, cash you signed this contract you can't say anything you can't do anything I think I said like bro if I had that I wouldn't even be here I, I, I don't like restrictions man but yet you are restricted that's the thing cash you are restricted if it not it's not like it's restrict it's not restricted as your job but like it's your like working on nine to five, it's not restricted like nine to five, but you have to come to terms to the community guidelines and everything. That's a restriction. You can't play original music. That you can't play original music, so you have to choose an alternative music. That's a restriction. If you can't say these certain type of words, you have to say alternative words to um, actually get revenue. That's a restriction. So for this one, I call it BS. There is some type of restriction. That always is a restriction. They'll just say you're not restricted. There is some restriction. You feel me? That's why I left that that that, that assistant manager job, man. That stressful job. I got tired of of of. of. Hey, speaking of jobs, I got a video about that. I think by the end of the week, I have a video for it. Even a, a video before that is coming, either tomorrow or in a couple of days. Whenever I want to put this one video out and then the next video to follow up it going to be in the end of the week. I have something for you guys. It's something that I needed to do because I'm not but I'm not going to talk about it right now. This is about cash. This is not about me. I digress. Talking to him and telling him, hey, Cash, you know, you got to stay late. Hell no, nah, I believe I want to leave. I just remember, like, when I first, like, came into Two Hype. You know what I mean? We were first built Two Hype, man. Before we get in there, I'm going to tell you guys tonight, me and Chris had a conversation before we made Too Hype what it is right now. You know what I mean? I told Chris, this was back then when I was live streaming. Like, I just got done live streaming. I was stressed. You guys know I was in a deep depression. Cause just, it was just, you guys know how the 2K community can be, bro. And I was Fact. live streaming every day. It, it, it just, oh, yeah. I remember he was live streaming like crazy. Even putting money in packs and stuff. Even bringing Ash. And they was competing back and forth. They're like, it was, when it come to opening packs, it was funny. It was entertaining. I used to love watching those back then. Man, how far we come? Cash got to come up. Like, 
I'm proud of Cash at that. I'm proud of Cash from building himself from the ground up. That's something I can commend him on. It was a lot to manage, man. And I told Chris that I did not want to take on no leadership role. You know what I mean? Just because I've been exhausted, you know? I, I, I want to come and bring energy, you know what I mean? Do some fun things. But, you know, like 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 making like big boss decisions and doing all the stuff behind the scenes that you don't get money for, I didn't want that at all. And it was really clear, you know, from the get-go with them. And, and, and basically... He low key said that Chris is the leader of the group. He low key said that. And watch later on in the video, he's gonna double down on it. It worked out. Because look at this right here, y'all, right? Us as people, we automatically gonna just magnify who's in charge. You know what I mean? Yeah, but Chris is low key in charge and you double down on it. That's the thing. But we're gonna get to that later on. That's the last time I'm gonna say on it till later on in the video. So let's continue. You know the car that your boss drives. You do. You know your boss' wife' name. You know these that these little small things. You know what I mean? I don't. This right here just covered me just growing in a company from being an associate to an assistant manager. I knew these type of things right will occur. So when you in this big big role, bro, you get magnified crazy, and I didn't want that. And I'm not just sitting here and trash smoke. The dude was a good dude, man. Like, we have, like, the most open conversations, y'all. Like, we talk about aliens. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about, like, just, just you know, them deep talk that you wish you and your homeboys would talk about, man. We would, like, do it just about every night, you know, after we get done with videos, man. He's a genuine good dude, bro. You know, me, me and Matt, bro, like, you know, we love Mopey, bro. You know what I mean? Like, if somebody, man, you fuck with Mopey, bro, you fuck with us. Yeah, this one I can say, that's why I... Mopey respects Cash. Mopey respects him. Like, all the people in Too High respects Cash. You know what I mean? Like, straight up, man. You know, like, it was, it is still that, that type of bond. You feel me? Now, from my perspective of not staying in the house and hearing, you know, Mopey's side, I was shocked. You know, I didn't even think we would, like I said, I didn't even think we would come to, you know, social media. I was really shocked because it's like, bro, I thought, you know, like, Everything was good. Everybody got to have their disagreements. You know what I mean? There's so many different personalities in the group. We got disagreements, but I didn't know it would come to this right here, man. I could. And the funny thing is, throughout this, it's too hype. It's Chris, Jesser, and James. Chris, Jesser, and James. They feel that. But they're the ones that feel the drama on social media. Even though it. They didn't want it to be in social media. Those three actually feel that because on day Mopey said was L hype and he was gonna make a video soon. That's it. On thing they did was amplified by tenfold. And look what happened now. So you can't just blame Mopey. You gotta blame the guys for actually stirring it up first. They could they could have done a whole lot better. They could they could have done uh Excruciating, uh, excruciatingly a whole lot better than what they did to prepare themselves. Could have done more. You know what I mean? I feel like everybody could have done more, man. In a way to where, like, we could... Because... I'm going to pause it. Because the only thing this, the, the, the drum right here is doing is if someone's going to gain it, someone's going to lose. Depending on... Who is the person who's going to start the drama, cause it, and who's going to open up? Someone's going to gain and something's going to drop. That's business. It's business and drama and social media. When it comes to drama, someone's going to have a lot to gain and someone's going to lose. And that's not just like lose and you lose the battle, but also you can lose some subscribers as well. If you look at Jesser's channel right now. You look at Jesser's channel. Go on Social Blade and check on Jesser's channel. He lost over a hundred thousand subs already. Over a hundred thousand subs. So that lets you know. Kitty Moore, you know, just really hear him out. You know what I mean? Instead of like asking that one time, hey bro, you good? So, you know, you know, and they're like, nah, you look in the eye like, nah, man, are you really good? I would do that. But I feel like, you know. Yeah, I know you would, but 
Will the rest? The question is, did the rest do that? That's the main question. Us collectively, we should have done it more. You know what I mean? Yeah. He has a right, you know, mm-hmm. to express how he feels, bro. You know what I mean? He's human. And, and and honestly, I just didn't know how serious it was, you know, until now. All right, so let's keep it trill. Let me more trill, all right? How many of you guys right now watching this video here from your phone probably on lunch break? This one I didn't get because either, either he made this before it came out or he just made it, made a video the night before and posted this. Because you got to think of it. No one's at work, Cash. Cash, no one's at work. It's, it's New Year's Day. It's a day after, I say, the day after New Year's, for one. Second, it's a Saturday. So there's no work at that time. So no one watching it until it pops out. And then even that 24-hour span, it's still, today is Sunday. I'm filming this right now on the 3rd, on a Sunday. So there is no work. People will go to work on the 4th. So for the 2nd, when he posts this up, no one is, no one is on a work break. Everyone is doing a lot of things during the weekend. Some are looking at the drama. Waiting on the Nash Cash Nasty video, but overall, no one's at work. All right, probably it's your job sneaking. Yeah. Unless that job is streaming and stuff, then no, nah, there's no lunch break and streaming and stuff. You can eat while you work. You watch videos, play video games. So you can eat you a bag of chips while you play. Like, but still, I mean. How many of you guys doing? What you think I'm in the comments? A lot of you guys probably are, right? No. Now, if you had an opportunity, you know, to come and do videos, you know, will you drop what you're doing right now? You damn right you would. Hell yeah, shoot. Hey, toss me an opportunity, come my way. I'll give you like 2,000%. I can give you 150, but I can shoot that up like steroids and give you 2,000%. Easy. I can show you how good I am at the best of my abilities. So as long as I'm getting paid, I can show you everything and then so. Pause. Cause I did. So what I'm saying that, you know, Jezzer did give Mopi an opportunity. You know what I mean? I'm I'm not I'm not gonna sugarcoat. He gave him an opportunity Facts. you know to have a voice. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? To 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 do something different in life. You know what I mean? It's probably not what he wanna do now, but he did give him that opportunity. You know what I mean? And it with childhood friends, I won't go in depth with that, but you know, like that, that, that is just how I'm coming, you know what I mean? So, I'm saying is, when you ready to go work at eight to five, where you know the man behind your back telling you you're not doing your job right, you know, you got these things going on at home, bro, you know, you got family issues, all these things, right? Your bills need to be paid, you know, you barely making, you know, ends meet, oh, bill payments, something. bro, you know what I mean? Oh, when you ready to entertain millions, you know, let's not forget, forget that, y'all, you know what I mean? That's hella valuable, man. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people in the struggle where I come from, bro, will stop, dr- drop. Trust me, I'm one of those people, because I'm in Louisiana. I'm one of those people. So I know what you're talking about, because I'm one of them. I have every single thing to have the opportunity. But here's the thing. Here's the problem that I want to say on this. Yes, Jester did give Mopi an opportunity. Yes. But you can't disregard the fact that he he tried to use use someone for clout, like use TD to say, "Oh, he blo- he blocked me on Twitter just for clout." And TD he even said himself that he him and Jester they got each other's phone numbers. They could have talked talked to each other or anything like that. Not only that, he had mopey. He had said mopey. He's mentally unstable. Which Mopey only thing he's doing is going to rehab for smoking and drinking. That's it. He not even mentally mindset it. He wasn't in the mental mindset to make videos because he want to feel better of himself. He want to better himself. But you can't just say the person is mental, mentally unstable. So then you made a whole different perspective. You say his mindset is not wasn't into making videos. 
That's one thing. Like, I would say more. I'm going to say more, you know, later on. But, yeah. Like, you try to put your friend under the bus. And on top of that, try to just do something for a friend. And then put, put stuff over their heads. Put stuff over their heads. Get half of their, half of their revenue for their VR channel. And then brag about it. That is that a real friend or is this a person that trying to pretend like he's a friend but trying to make it more business than anything else and feel it doesn't have any anything to do with friendship at all? Like it's either ne neither here or there, but the gesture is in the wrong. He, especially since he's supposed to be a true best friend that never like a, a childhood friend, an elementary childhood friend that actually actually know him from the from the beginning and yet he don't check on him and be like are you okay or even go into his room like you see something something's a bit off and don't really check on him like they live in the same house like Jesser and Mopey live in the same house so they, he couldn't just go to his room see the mess and actually talk to him and ask him is he really okay like, that's the problem. Like, are y'all really friends or are you using your friend as business? Like, as a business opportunity? That's what it's all about. It's one or the other. Like, yeah, you can be friends, but you got to make sure that your friends are friends. And on top of that, he couldn't even give, he couldn't even give Moochie 1%. Tough. All right, so let's talk about Jesse. Jersey. Jersey label, what y'all want to talk? All right, man. This guy here is a hard working person. Man. And that's what I was talking about. I went all, I went talk, way ahead of the video. So, yeah. Man. You know what I mean? For how hard he worked, bro, you'll think this dude right here came out the struggle. You feel me, bro? Yeah. And I watched Jezza, you know, grow as an individual. You know what I mean? Yep. Am I here to have his back? I'm just being straight up with y'all. You know, take it how you want. You know what I mean? He never did me wrong in no type of way. No one's going to try to do cash wrong. Because you got... Actually, I'm going to let it finish. I'm going to let it finish. No, I didn't stay in the house. Facts. But from my perspective, bro, Jezzer, he kept growing as an individual. Jezzer got a whole team, bro. You know what I mean? He got a whole team behind him. Editors and all these things right here. You know, production and all these right here, bro. He giving them dudes a job. You know what I mean? He's creating jobs for the people. And that 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 is a good thing. You know? Yeah. Like we ain't taking, we ain't tearing them down because he giving people opportunity, giving them a job. That's not what we worried about. That's kudos to him. He has a he giving people jobs. He giving people giving people an opportunity to work, do this and that. But what about his friend? That's the point of it all. The whole thing. We ain't worried about the job perspective. We're worried about the friendship perspective. I mean, I got editors too, but that also come with a lot of responsibilities, y'all. You know what I mean? He got this big house, man. You know what I mean? More bills need to be paid, bro. What I'm trying to say is, man, you know, the little small things, sometimes we tend to forget. And let me break it down here to y'all, bro. Right? When I was system manager at Walmart, bro, I, I wanted to do anything as possible to get out. All right? I stopped talking to my family and my friends, best friends, for two years. Two years. Y'all remember when I was live streaming? Every yeah, that might be the case, but here's the thing. It's the difference between... You trying to make it, and you already made it. Cash, he was making it. He was trying to scrap, trying to scrap and call his way, scratch and claw his way all the way to the top. He made it, and he's still constantly doing much, much more. Same with Jesser, he was scratching and trying to go. We made it. He made it as well, but there comes a time where we made it. You just, you just think of the cloud more than you think of your friend. Like, you got time to actually do this and that. And when you're off screen and everything, you're actually talking to them. You actually can talk to your friends. Like, you got time. Like, either you got time or you can make time. You made it already. Look, Jesse got 3 million subscribers. He got time to actually just get, one, like, a few minutes of the time to actually talk to his best friend. Like, so that's irrelevant right now. What Cash is saying right now is completely irrelevant. Because you're talking about coming up. You're talking about, you're not talking about 
you make you already made it and now you can get a time to actually talk and just hear hear someone out so this is irrelevant every single day in all this right here bro and while working a job i'll give it to you i didn't have no real friends bro i didn't even see malcolm up until i got the challenge and that's when I but guess what like you cash he made it already that's why i said cash made it look what he did now he made up with his family he got he got his friend Mel. Shoot, they both doing basketball things. They do play basketball. They playing two twos, and they just cool. They chilling and everything. So yeah, but what you're saying now is irrelevant because yeah, you're both scratching claw your way to the top, but y'all already at the top, and y'all still growing. That's the thing. Like the the before, it's irrelevant. We're talking about the current day. So that's no. I pull back at his crib. You feel me? I remember times like my mom would blow my phone up like several days at a time because like I would not. I felt like I had to like I put a lot of people on the back burner, bro. You know, and I'm a man. You know what I mean? I, I'm a human. I'm sick. You know, hope it, mom. I love you. When you driven so much, man, the little small things you sacrifice for. You know what I mean? And yeah, but that's only when you try to scratch and claw your way to the top. That's the thing. And that's going to come with relations. You know what I mean? Hold on. Let me see how many subs you got. You and Jessa practically got the same amount of subs. And yet you made up with your family. Jessa could have made... Jessa could have done a lot more. But guess what? Jessa is still doing the same thing he was doing... What, like over a year ago? Or about a year ago? No, over a year ago because it's 2021. Yeah, but over a year ago, he did it with TD. He tried to. He's saying, oh, he misses he misses his friend. He wanted him to be back and everything, but never be a part of TD's videos and nothing like that. And then all of a sudden, talk about him blocking him and everything. I talked about earlier and everything, so forth and so forth. But yeah, let's say it's irrelevant to this day. So there is no excuse on that. People go, you either gonna grow together or you gonna grow away from each other, man. And look what happened. They did grow together, but guess what? The stuff that they're doing currently is making them grow away from each other. The stuff that they're doing. You know what I mean? And what I'm saying is, cause like I'm, I'm just trying to give a big relief on him because like I see he get a lot of heat. You know, he just got a lot of responsibility, a lot of bills. That he's yeah, if we keep acting that way that he already be acting, then he gonna yeet. Hey, man, you know what I mean? And I understand that because, you know, when you're trying to just be driven, you, you like tunnel vision. You know what I mean? Like, and we're coming with that, man, when you like so driven, a lot of your, your relations with people and friends, you know, they be put on a back burner, you know, temporarily because, like, you know, you got to sacrifice that, man, you know? So what's the point of him when, what's the point of it when Moby was trying to tell him that something was going wrong, something going on with him, and Jester is saying, "Oh, he's seen the text," and then all of a sudden disregard everything that he was talking about, about rehabbing and and stuff, and just not getting any words of encouragement, and all of a sudden just thinking about business. He's not thinking about what's going on with his friend. Yeah, it's sponsored and everything, but which one's more important? The money or your friend. Like, you made it. You're making money no matter what. At the end of the day, you're going to make money no matter what. But what about your friend? That's, like, you have, like, he's at, I'm not talking about, oh, he's, you he mind on his money. He got to make them, got to make them thousands of dollars. Like, he got thousands. He's a millionaire. He's a millionaire or YouTuber. But the only thing is, it comes a time where you're, you got to sit, you have to sit back and think. Or to notice the signs. Because he, he's telling you, because he's telling you something, even is in broad daylight, he's telling you something. It just, you're, you just change it for the money. That was the, that was the problem. He's changing for the money. It's sad to say that, but it's just, it's just how it is, bro. A lot of people don't want to make those sacrifices. A lot of people, excuse me. A lot of people want to sleep more. A lot of people want to have a, a, a comfort lifestyle. Comfort. A comfortable lifestyle laying on the comforter, you say. From my perspective. 
the mistake that Jared had done, you know, with this whole drama going on, with the fact, you know, he reached out to his family. That wasn't a mistake, but putting it in a video. You know what I mean? There we go. It just didn't seem genuine. You know what I mean? Even though he might have had the good intentions, the way it looked like, it looked bad. You know what I mean? And I told him about it. You know what I mean? I didn't like the fact he done that. I do remember y'all is that mostly, okay. you know, he expressed us that. Well, you know he had to edit out some stuff because because it's some stuff that he want to say or either that or his batteries died. It's one or the other. But he doing a lot of editing for a person who's trying to get his side out. You know? He mentally wasn't there for videos. You know what I mean? And I remember when we had a talk outside, you know, and he, you know, Mopey was saying uh, that he was going to uh, go get help or whatnot. You know, um, Jesse was crying. You know, I, mean? I, I can, I can never forget how the face, you know, the the face Jesse had, like he was disappointed himself because he felt like that he could have did more for Mopey. You know? Yeah, but why? Okay, let's just, I'm, I'll play devil, a devil's advocate. And say that he was crying because he wished he could have done more to help Mopey out. Here's the problem that I have. If they know that people are saying, where's, where's Mopey? Where's Mopey? I don't see Mopey in two high videos. What's going on with Mopey? Wouldn't it make better sense to actually just put out a video saying re what's going on with Mopey, what's regarding him, and telling the fans that he's... He's not in the right mindset of making videos at the moment. That he's trying to, trying to, trying to. My bad. Indigestion. He's trying to do something to better his life. He's trying to. He tried to rehab himself because he's not. Not feeling well. I would say he's not feeling well. He's going through stuff and. To please respect his privacy and everything, they respect his privacy and let him heal and everything. And he will be in the two hype video soon. Like, if they would have regard him, and regard him, and just talked about him on a video, or give him the fans some type of message that uh kept both sides, it would have benefit, and it would have made some money off of it, maybe. But they they should have done that. I'm just saying in a business standpoint of YouTube the cause less drama just address the Mopey situation ahead of time so people won't be like where's Mopey instead of blocking them as a word blocking his name Tyler Mopey instead of blocking him like blocking his name in the comments just address it take it head on because then who you really hurting in the end? I mean, that's the energy I had felt from him, man. You know? So let's talk about Christopher London, a.k.a. LSK, man. Now, this guy here, he the one who's taking a lot of responsibilities behind the scenes, all right? These are things that you do not get paid for, man. These are things that, like, the, the little tedious things that I just could not handle, did not want to do. You know what I mean? Like so, basically, he's the leader of the group. Basically. But yeah, about LSK, <laughs> he been doing a lot of shit at Diddy. But let's continue. Like, like just, just holding people accountable for, you know, coming to the film, you know, uh, uh, talking to uh, collabs, covering little small things like that, man. You know, the administrative work. So, Chris, being true with y'all, this is the person I bump heads the most with. Uh, there you go. Uh, why? Um, it, it's just his delivery, you know what I mean? His delivery is so off a lot of times. It's just like I have to like check him, like, hey, bro, like, sometimes we're being calls, you know what I mean? And he'll just talk over, you know, he feel like that his opinion is so much more important than the next person, you know, and I'd be like, hey, man, I'm talking. It's much more important or just try to get people to X them out when, when nothing go his way? You know what I mean? It'd be awkward a little bit, but, you know, he would it's like it's his way or the highway, basically. Check himself, you know what I mean? He wouldn't hold that against me. So I'm taking out this right here. You know, a lot of people looking at the text message, I think it was in Moby video, uh, you know, um, looked like he was being, you know, like a dictatorship. You know what I mean? He was basically saying, you know, I would suggest you guys to unfollow these dudes right here. I don't miss from whatever it is. I didn't do it, you know what I mean? 
Because, like, it, bro, you hear about the bump men around, you know what I mean? Um, did they feel uncomfortable about it? Chris, especially? Yes. But when I got around him, did he make me feel some type of way about it? Anything like this? No. All right? And the reason for that is because Cash is the bigger YouTuber. They know that Cash, he pivots off of a lot of things. If Cash leaves too hype, they know. Because Chris, Zach, and Jesse knows. If Cash leaves too hype, that that team is going to be near as dead. They know that. So that's why they don't fuck, they don't, that's why they don't fuck up with Cash. They know because Cash is money. And I'm talking about the name his this person cash this dude it's money and they know without cash because cash is a great entertainer they're not gonna just let cash go they're not gonna drop him too hype because they know that he's entertaining and people watch cash a lot he is one of the bigger 2k community youtubers out there but if you don't believe me there was a stream when there was a stream where Cash Nasty was on Twitch one time against Flight and my team and just skyrocket that skyrocket the views on Twitch. Is that not a person that's greatly an entertainer? I don't know what is. Cash is not going to leave too hype. He's loyal. But LSK know they're not going to kick Cash because he's an entertaining YouTuber. And without Cash... Two hype is gonna be nearest dead. Two hype is gonna be dull hype. It's not gonna be good. It's just that you know, he's he's a very emotional person. I guess you know what I mean. It's emotional. I call BS on that. I would say more manipulative and controlling. And a lot of his delivery just be wrong and. One thing I do like about Chris... That's an understatement. Is, ...is that, you know, when you tell him something, he do correct it. You know what I mean? He tried best to correct it. He'll try to do the exact same thing over and over. That's exactly what he did. He did it over and over. If you don't believe me, there's videos. They already show videos for the past week when he talked to TD. They said, oh, I, I'm not... I'm not going to think about the, I ain't talking about this stuff that I'm sorry for this there was the old me let's keep moving forward and yet he made a video just talking a whole bunch of BS and got torn apart by Los and yet it's like he LSK didn't change he didn't change at all he's just saying that he's changed he want to move forward but overall what did he really change what did he really do to change himself because looking at it if he changed and all of a sudden money go back in his mind it looked like his brain went to reset button again and just kept doing the same stuff I don't know why but it's a pattern because they keep doing the same pattern over and over when it comes to dropping people off and then all of a sudden blocking them they just kept moving forward and then all of a sudden they don't address the situation or nothing like that. It just, it's just a crazy cycle that ended up, ended up in this drama to this day. You guys want to ask, do I feel like Chris got good intentions? My answer would be yes. I feel like Chris, Bullshit. Chris got really legitimate good intentions for people. You know what I mean? Like Still, I call Cap. And he do try to put on as much people as he can. Like if we, if, we, if he's eating... He do try to get him the bag too, you know, with sponsorships and things like that. Yeah, you saying he gonna get everyone else? If he's eating, then then what about Mitchell? So we gonna Cat's gonna forget all about Mitchell and what Moby said. That no one did not want to give Mitchell one percent of two hype, give him six percent. So we gonna forget all about that. Jesse, James, Mit, Jesse, James. LSK, Zach, y'all couldn't give them, they couldn't give them 1%? Cash, are you one of them as well? They didn't want to give them 1%? Like, you got to think about it. Because he said that that Mitchell was, had, had, 
Ugh. He was in one percent salary. He he was in a small salary. He was in a small salary, and no one didn't want to give him one percent. Moby might have given one percent. I don't know, but he was under a small salary, and no one did not want to give him one percent. That's tough. A selfish individual to where he feel like he just eating and everybody else not gonna eat. You know, he try to. Well, then how come he couldn't give him one percent? Let everybody eat, but at the same time. This world is a beautiful place. Uh, no, that. I told you I'm it's paying cash and bills. I'm paying his bills. You know, when you just worry about the bag too much, you know what I mean? You know, really looking at people, you don't feel it too much. You know what I mean? There it you is. The bag will cover feelings. I myself had them, you know, type of issues myself, you know? Shit, sometimes my sister would be like, hey, boo, can we talk or whatever it is? And, you know, I would miss the phone. Hey, but at least the difference between that is LSK, they, they already said that LSK hired his sister as an assistant and then fired her. Cash didn't talk to the sister, but he gave her money. I watched the video or something. Phone call because I'm either doing something or whatever, we're so busy on videos. You know, I feel bad. And next day, I'll send out some money, you know, then talk. You know, it's. Yeah, but you're different. That's a whole different situation. You do that. That doesn't mean that they do that. It's something I didn't work on, too. So I'm not really going to address uh, Zach and uh, Jadel's situation. I feel like they're going to make their own videos and talk about it, you know. Jadel, ooh. I'm, I wonder how much heat Jadel's going to get. Because Zach and Jadel is about to get less than a million today. Either today or tomorrow. I think Zach is going to go under a million tomorrow. I bet money. Tomorrow, is that going to go under a million? Jadel, he's not that far off either. But let's see what happens. Yeah. I think they got some more personal things going on, you know, behind this. Who's going to get to, uh, who's going to get to yeah, 900,000 in the end? And, uh, no, bro, I ain't got no type of steam with Zach or Jadel. Like, I can have conversations with these dudes right here, bro. They don't force me to do something that I don't want to do. You know what I mean? If I feel uncomfortable... Oh, I feel like I don't want to do a video, man. They always been over for me, you know? Yeah, because you're one of the more popular YouTubers. They know without cash, there will be no two hype. Like, two hype is near dead because there's no cash, because cash is that main entertainer. Without cash, two hype is not going to be as good. They know that. That's why they don't, that's why they bend over backwards for you. I mean, like, I tell you this right here, man. A lot of these two hype videos, man, like they do respect the fact that, you know, I got to come back to Louisiana with my family and I'd be going for like a month or two, you know what I mean? And that of would course. be the way of them doing their videos, you know, but they always do bend over for me. So, you know, I do want to say that you can both watch. I do appreciate that, man. And, um, yeah, because yeah, there's a reason behind So it. I see a lot of you guys talking about the blacklist words and everything that was on the channel. Uh, I didn't know, but I can explain it. Yeah, of course, Cash don't know. This one, I can actually... This one, I can actually say he's right on that. He don't know. Because he don't live in the two high policy, and they run an account. Because I really do understand it. And I'm going to break it out to y'all, all right? Let's say you break up with your girlfriend, right? Do you want to continuously walk around and see her picture on the counter? Do you? No, you don't, all right? It makes you sick to your stomach, right? So, what I'm saying is, y'all... But the main question is, should they really care about them saying this, saying that? Because they're blocking, they try to, it's like, it's like this. Would you rather address it head on and move forward from it? Or would you like to hide it? And it's going to build, do you want to hide it to the point of it's going to build up into other stuff? All of a sudden, you're going to have to block other people. Other people that are going to be mentally frustrated and everything. It's best to address it head on than to hide it. I see it in that perspective. No one want to just look at negativity, bro. Like, no one want to wake up and look at, you know, you guys comparing me to other people. I don't like seeing that, bro. You yeah, that's something that people, that's life. Let's be honest, that's life. People are going to compare other people to someone. That's life. Either you deal with it or you live. You deal with it and live with it or you just, it's not for you at all.
You know what I mean? That would like stop my my motivation, you know, my grind. You know what I mean? You don't think sometimes, you know, LeBron gets tired of seeing the Michael Jordan comparison? Yes, he does. But guess what? If he said it himself that he thrives off of people doubting him. He thrives off of people doubting him and keep pushing forward to accomplish multiple goals, to be better. He runs off of people doubting him. Did you forget that, Cash? Because LeBron actually said that in his interview. Or, or did you just forget about it, Cash? Since you're supposed to be the number one LeBron fan. Come on, man. He's tired of it. Everybody's tired of it, man. So with Moby being blacklisted, it was more about, you know, like, this is when Moby went off to go get help. You know what I mean? And... You know, I remember the conversation that we had in the group text message. It was like, you know, can you guys stop spamming him? You know what I mean? While, while he's going to seek help, you know, as in a way just trying to, you know, like relieve a lot of pressure. Then address it. Address that Mopey is trying to heal up. He's not feeling well because he's been dealing with a lot. And tell him to respect his privacy. That's all you have to say. To your fans, when y'all do a too high, too high video or anything, because people are gonna worry about the one specific character, especially someone like Mopey, who everyone respects, out of everyone too high. Besides, well, you Cash. Besides you Cash, Mopey is more beloved than too high more than anyone. Like you can't replace someone like Mopey in too high. So, yeah, of course people are going to ask those questions. So, the best option is to address it. You know, expectations of Mopey really, really was, from my point of view, was caring about Mopey, you know, mentally. His mentality, you know, his mindset, man, you know what I mean? Then address it. I know y'all want to try to keep things off the internet, but people on the internet is going to want to know. Because he is a prominent character of the group. Like, you don't want to continue to see them type of things, bro. Especially when you're going through stuff, bro. And, and I think I see a lot of people talking about, oh, y'all blacklist, amp, sidemen, and all type of things right here. Because y'all compare us to them all the time, bro. And? Why would you care what they think? Just like I said, you keep, keep moving. Keep pushing forward. Let live. If they want to compare, then maybe pivot to having a competition. Maybe two hype could actually go against the sidemen and do some activities together. That'll be a huge collaboration. That'll make money for the both of y'all. Or two hype versus AMP. Or actually have a three way battle. Because that will make the most money. Because people want to see that. If they compare, compare y'all, how about making a collaboration? How about. Y'all talk to KSI or talk to Vicstar or whatever and try to do a collaboration with them or have a deal with them and do a competition or with AMP as well. Y'all can talk to Agent Phantom, which they they are willing to have competition with with Too Hype. Like, that'll be a great video. Maybe instead of just blocking it, how about doing something that'll be more productive and actually make y'all more money? Y'all talk about being a business. Y'all not thinking smart like one. You know what I mean? And no one want to sit here and just look at that every single... I don't. And I'm, I tell you right here. All I can tell y'all is stop all the bitching. I'm not going to see that stuff every day. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I think that's a legitimate reason why them type of work with them with blacklist. And right, I don't. Hey, man. Uh, yeah, but he's not going to talk about Mal. He's not going to talk about Mal getting blacklisted. He ain't gonna talk about Mal getting blacklisted. Let's keep that. Let's keep that a beam. He's not gonna talk about Mal getting blacklisted and stuff. Hey, thank you. Cause uh, yeah, I ain't wanna look at it myself. So what I feel like that should happen, y'all, is just that everybody, us in our group, we need to take accountability for our mistakes and continue to strive to get better. You know, just as individuals, as people, as humans. You know what I mean? Cause we're not perfect, man. We're gonna make mistakes. You know what I mean? But I yeah, but why their mistakes are being shown more often than not? Like, everything that's built up in the past is starting to show up more now more than ever. It's like, their mistakes are really adding up. 
it's like they're going to fabricate the truth just so they can so they can feel like they're the good guys and not actually hear the whole truth like he try, they're trying to manipulate and everything and yet <laughs> ah man it's like yeah they make mistakes but can you address it in the either you trying to address it in a in a way that you can still make a lot of money and talk down on them or you're gonna be more truthful truthful with your audience and then then push forward if it's the truth that they can't handle then don't address it at all don't say nothing about it let them talk let them say whatever they want to say if it gets too big for you then then you're going to have to do something about it. But blocking it is not going to be the right case overall. I feel like if you're going to judge, you should judge a person on how they correct the mistakes, not the mistakes they're doing. LSK didn't correct the mistakes at all. The only thing he did was either block or delete. That's it. That's not correcting mistakes because people still have it in their reaction channels. They're still showing it. So blocking... Blocking is not going to do anything. Deleting is not going to really do much. Once it's on the internet, it's going to stay on the internet. Let's keep it 100. So what mistakes did LSK correct? That's number one. Like, what did he correct? I can't say much on Jidel or what he's going to say, but we know he got some mistakes made that end up backfiring on him as well. But yeah. You feel me, man? And a lot of you guys, you know, y'all see us on camera, man. You know, we happy. We positive. But you guys got to remember, man, when that camera goes off, we got real life things going on with us, man. You know? Yeah, same as me. And I can, I'm going to explain that in a future video. And what I'm doing currently now in 2021. Man, y'all want to see. Y'all going to see. Either, either tomorrow or Tuesday, I'm going to tell y'all what's going on with me. But for now, it's not about me. I think everybody got their own struggles, man. You know, and, mm -hmm. you know, I can't recall right. some days I go to two at cost, man. I didn't even want to feel sometimes, you know what I mean? But I did it for the group, you know, and, you know, Mopey or sometimes Zach would pull me to the side, like, hey, man, everything all good. You know what I mean? They would, like, kind of understand, you know what I mean? So to reiterate, I was like, yeah, because you're a more prominent character in the entertainment side. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Mopey, still my boy, man. Mal, still my boy, man. Uh, TD, still my boy. Hey, bro, my bad for not calling in the last uh, couple of days, man. You know, I just feel like there's so much stuff going on. Low, still my boy. Talk to Low the other day, man. You know, these right here are still my boys, man. And uh, I, I don't I do not do the beef and stuff, man. You know what I mean? It just, I feel like they're childish. I don't even feel like that we should even came to where we at right now, you know, doing the video. All right, so let me talk a little bit about, you know, uh, Hunter Thieves, man. I, I see you guys leaving comments, things like this right here, man. You guys should not be leaving no type of negative. This right here, not my contract. This is just me personally telling you guys. This one, I'm with. So, I remember before, you know, we got uh, signed and everything like that. Um, we would have been, like, issues within the group because, like, we all would have too many responsibilities. You know what I mean? We were growing so fast. This, this one, I think this is unrelated. And this one for 100 Thieves, which I'm unrelated, uh, unrelated to this situation right here. Cause this is not about Mopey or anything like that, but overall, Cash is saying that's yeah, but overall, Cash is basically saying is I'm not choosing any side, everyone makes mistakes, but really, what, what did they correct? Like, Cash is not choosing no sides. He's basically he's saying is he, he's friends with all of them. He's not going to choose any one side to be frank. That's all I got from it. But overall, did I do a good job tearing this video apart? If I did, give it a thumbs up. If this be a reaction video, hey, it's all good. But I'm going to keep moving forward. I got some videos that I got to push out because... I have some important video. There's some important stuff that I want to say in a new video that I think is going to air everything out for me. 
that I want to get out of my chest. But overall, thank you guys for watching. I hope y'all, hope y'all check out more of my videos. Hope y'all keep, keep continue watching because I'm about to grind harder than ever in 2021. I'm about to grind harder than ever. It's plus I have speech impediment, so to get that out of the way, I should have said that in the beginning, but oh well. Oh, but in the end of the day, Cash, I still watch his videos. I'm still going to watch his videos no matter what. Cash with or without too hype, he's he's going to be good no matter what. He's, we still going to pay his bills in the end of the day. We're going to pay his bills. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching the video. If you like it, hit the like button. Drop a nuke on that like button. Sorry, enemies and potatoes. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.